Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is odd even linked list. So in this question, we're given the head of a singly linked list. We need to group all the nodes with odd indices together followed by the nodes with the even indices. And then we have to return the reordered list. The first node is considered odd, the second is even and so on. So odd, even, odd, even, odd. And here we group all the odd elements, one, three, five are appearing first followed by the even indices nodes, two and four. And we have to maintain the relative order. We shouldn't sort them in ascending or descending order. We have to maintain the order of insertion. So 2, 3, 6, 7 will appear first. 1, 5, 4. Here 1, 4, 5 shouldn't appear. 1, 5, 4 should appear as it is because 5 appears before 4. So 5, 4 should appear here. Now let's take a look at these examples and see how we can form the logic. We're given the head of a linked list. Let's take the first example. The head is pointing at the beginning. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The odd indices are 1 and 3 and 5. So these are odd indices and even indices are 2 and 4. So 2 and 4 are even. So these are odd. Called odd and place it at the head of the linked list. And we create a node even and place it at the head dot next position of the linked list. And our logic is that we are going to create another node which is going to point at even of the linked list. So because first we are going to access all the nodes at odd place. So 1 3, 5 and then we are going to uh, create a node which is pointing at even so we point this back to here so this will become 2 and then 4 so this will be our output so I create another node even start which is pointing at even and we all know the end of the linked list always points to null so we move these pointers odd and even until we reach null so until odd dot next or even dot next is null they keep moving forward in every iteration so odds next should point to events next. So events next is this. So odd should point here. So odd will be pointed here and we remove this connection. And we move the odd pointer. So odd dot next is pointing here. So odd will be moved to here. Now we check if odd is pointing at null or not. If it's not pointing, we have to move the even pointer. So even is now pointing here. We need to point it to odds next. Odds next is 4. So 2 will be pointing to 4 and we remove this connection and we move the even pointer to that node. Now let's repeat the same process again. We check the loops condition. We check if odd dot next is pointing to null, odd dot next is not a null. So this is satisfied. Okay. We check if even dot next is pointing to null. No. So we move further. Both are passing. Now let's repeat the same process. We move odd to even dot next. Even dot next is here. So odd will point there. And we remove odds connection and we move odd to the same pointer there. And now we check if odd is pointing to null, no. So we meet, need to move the even pointer to odd dot next. Odd dot next is pointing to null, so move even there. And remove even's current connection and move even to null because even will be moved to odd dot next. Now before starting the next iteration, we have to check the condition for the while loop. If odd dot next is equal to null, Yes, odd dot next is equal to null. So this condition fails. So we end our iteration. And one last step is that we have to move odd dot next to even because first all the odd numbers appear. So let's form the answer. Head is here. Then one is pointing to three. Three is pointing to five. Now we have to move odds pointer. Now the even nodes will appear. So we need to connect last node of odd to first node of even. So last node of odd is here. We have to connect it to first node of even where we place the pointer even start. So this odd dot next will point to even start. So 5 is connected to 2 and now 2 is connected to 4. And check where 4 is connected. 4 is connected to null. So 4 will point to null. So here you can see you are getting the expected output. 1, 3, 5, 2, 4 and 4 is pointing to null. And now let's do the dry run for this and implement code by repeating the first example in the second example. So head is pointing to the beginning of the linked list. So head is here. Now we create the new pointers. Odd pointer is starting at head. So let's do this step. So I create the odd pointer which is pointing to head. Now I have to create the even pointer which is pointing to head dot next. Head is here, head dot next is this. So set even to head dot next. Now we created our third, po our third pointer, right? Even start, which is pointing to even because this will no note the first even index so that 
we connect the last odd index to this position. So create a variable event start and point it to event. So event is a list node. So list node event start will be pointing to event. Now we start our iterations using a while loop. We check the condition if odd dot next is not equal to null and event dot next is not equal to null. Let me remove the list node class so that we have more space. Now we move our pointers. So odd dot next pointer is pointing to event dot next pointer. And we have to move odd to that node. So odd will be moved from here to here. So odd is equal to event dot next. Now before moving the event pointer, we have to check if odd pointer is pointing to a null. If it is not pointing, then we can move the event pointer. So here in this case, odd is not pointing to null. So move the event pointer. Event pointer will move to odd dot next and we remove the current pointer. So event dot next will be pointing to odd dot next. And now we have to move the even node to that node. So even will now point here. So even is equal to odd dot next. And this is the end of the while loop. This while loop will run until this condition is met. And now we continue the process. This will be moved to here and remove the connection and move the odd pointer there. And before moving the event pointer, check if odd is null. No, it's not. So move event dot next to odd dot next and remove this connection and move even to that node. So even will move there. And now move the odd pointer. Odd dot next is equal to even dot next. Remove this and move odd there. Check if odd is null. No. Now move the event pointer. So even dot next is equal to odd dot next. Remove this and move even. Even is pointing to null. Now we check the while loop. Odd dot next is, is equal to null. So we end the iteration and we move odd dot next to even start. So even start is here. So odd dot next is here. So finally we get head is pointing to 2, 2 is pointing to 3, 3 is pointing to 6, 6 is pointing to 7, 7 is pointing to even start which is 1. 1 is pointing to 5, 5 is pointing to 4, and 4 is pointing to null, which is the expected output. So here in the code, we have to move the last node of odd pointer to event start because the event nodes will now be placed to the answer. So outside the while loop, odd dot next, odd is here, it will move to event start. We declared event start here, which is pointing at event. And now we return the head of the linked list head of the linked list is this, you get the answer like this. And now before running the code, you can place a check that if there are only two elements inside the linked list, we don't need to do anything because the first element will be odd and second element will be even. So whatever is present inside the head, we can return as it is. So how we check if the length of the linked list is two, we check if head dot next is equal to null, which means it has only one node. We check if head dot next dot next is equal to null, it means it has only two nodes. In both the cases, you can return head directly. So if head dot next is equal to null or head dot next dot next is equal to null, we return head. We can also check if head is null, which means there are no nodes. We can return as it is. So if head is equal to null. So if head has zero nodes, if head has one node, if head has two nodes, we can return as it is because odd and even places will be there as it is. Now we'll, let's run the code. So this is and. The test case are being accepted. Let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the number of nodes in the head of the linked list and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not creating a new linked list to solve the question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.